What's happening? We're back with a not so meta deck, Galissapod EX. This one's interesting. Why? Because it's a hit and run attack. Attack, run to the bench, and put somebody else up. Who are we putting up? Let's go to the deck list. Galissapod EX, two attacks. First, Aqua Blade hits for 70. Then, Swing and Skedaddle. Hits for 170, and then you get to switch out of the active onto the bench, bring up whoever you want, but you gotta discard an energy. Who are we gonna bring up? Well, we have a couple candidates here. We have, of course, the Mimikyu if we wanna block any Bs and EXs from attacking. I also added in the Weezing. Its ability, let's have a blast. If you knock it out while it's in the active, you flip a coin. If it's heads, your opponent is also knocked out. So this makes your opponent think, do they wanna hit the knockout? Or is it worth it? 50-50 shot? I don't know. Then the rest of the deck is about getting the Pokemon out and then energy. Getting it into your hand, getting it out of the discard. Because every time we move from the active to the bench, we are discarding energy. And then we need to get back up. So we do play four switch, one escape rope. Now we are only doing 170 damage. So most likely we are two shotting everything. So your opponent will want to move there to the bench. So we do play one copy of counter catcher. If we're behind in prizes, it acts like a boss and you can bring up whatever Pokemon has damage on it already and knock it out. Then to get the energy in our hand, we are going to use the earthen vessel and we are going to be discarding a lot of energy between radiant Greninja and Galissapod's attack. So we play four copies of energy retrieval so we can get it right back in our hand. Now, our only ability that gets blocked by Path to the Peak is going to be Greninja's. So, we do play two Path to the Peak. Just make sure that you don't need Greninja during that time and it's not vital. You have the ability. Then the supporters are going to be two boss. And the most important one is going to be Gardenia's Vigor, which you get to draw two cards. And then you get to put two Grass Energy cards anywhere you want on your bench. And we have to play this because if we have a Galissapod that keeps discarding energy, we have to attack for turn every time to that same one in order to do an attack. Meaning you could never get a second one set up. So Gardenia's Vigor fixes that. You'll be able to play two grass energy on the other Galissapod while still attaching for turn to the Galissapod that's ready to do the attack. So when you do get knocked out, you got another one ready to go. And then we're gonna play a couple Iono for disruption and we're gonna put a full face guard so Galissapod's HP goes from 270 to 290, jumping over that 280. So Pokemon like Giratina can't just knock it out with a regular attack. And then we have six grass energy because we want to use that with Gardenia's Vigor. And then five water because we need at least one in order for Galissapod to do its attack. So in the comments, let me know what you think. But before we do that, let's go to the games and see the deck in action. It's Gold Dango. We've got that. Um, let's obviously put down the water and that is pretty much what we got. That's about it. So we do have the vigor, which will get us a, hmm. That will get us a couple cards. So if we can get a switch, we'll have enough energy. Since we play five, should it be good. Alright, they got Arvin. They wanted they chose to go second. I wonder I guess that is to set up. That has to be why. Well, they are fully set up. I guess it worked. We are not. Conceal cards. Okay. And they're going to do their evolution. Now we know why they went second. Not a bad start. All right. So we're way behind. Let's see what we can do here. We need a switch. Oh, oh, that's good. That is good. That's a good top deck right there. All right. So let's do this. We Oh, we got our switch. That's phenomenal. So we will be able to get a knockout here. And let's 
Ultra Ball for a Bidoof. And hoping we can get up a barrel here. We got a prize card and a couple... Uh, 170. We're gonna come back, put up the Mimikyu, and there we go. Alright, now they gotta get through Mimikyu. And we need the barrel? Iono. Iono works. Iono works. Alright, see if they can get through this Mimikyu. Hopefully not. We've got a block. And they came up with Yamask. What is that? Put three damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. Okay. But. That's going to take them two. Two turns to get done. Don't think they can do that yet. And if they keep doing three, it's going to take a while. All right, they got uh, got a large hand. Nine cards. That's how I'm gonna Iono, and then and then just hope for the best, right? Gonna Iono. Hope we get an Ultra Ball or a Bavarel. We got uh, three Gold Dangos, and that's about it. Okay, so they evolved twice. Energy Retrieval. Do I want to put the energy back in? Oh yeah. Let's, uh, let's put it right back in. This goes to the bottom of the deck. That's okay. Uh, actually, no. We, we want to place one. There you go. And now... Now we're ready. We need some sort of switch again. We've got an escape rope. Oh, that's good. And... Mm, I'm going to get rid of an energy and... Because I need those two. Got a barrel. Let's let's use the escape rope now. Boom. So now we're hitting something that they don't want. Here we go. Taking their Greninja, which is a little bit of drop power. Not much, but a little bit. And there's our draw. Boom. Let's Nest Ball. Or another one. Wimpod. Let's Greninja. Okay, we don't need another Wimpod. We've got two energy in, and we can use Vigor later. Let's 170, hit and run. There we go. Put up the Mimikyu, and here we go. Another price card. Ooh, we got our wheezing. We trying to get that set up next. So vigor will get uh, the rest of the energy on these two right here, and get and draw two cards. So we've used two switches. We've got three left. Do hmm. Boss's order. Okay. Well, that saves us a switch. The problem is, we need. We need to survive the turn. So it's going to take them what five six. It's going to take them six. It's going to take them six. I have. Ooh, I don't have all the energy. There's one in the discard. Hmm. Do I come up with Whimsipod? I can't. I don't I don't I don't have it and I can't depend on my top deck. Hmm. I'm gonna have to come up with the Mimikyu and hope I get all these pieces, otherwise they're gonna have to use another boss. I mean how many bosses do they play? Plus they haven't reached this yet. Make it rain. They need six. They only did four. Boom. They only did four. So this is fantastic. 
So we can, okay, Ultra Ball this and the Wind Pot away. Oops. Get me my Glissopod. There we go. All right, I can, I'm going to Vigor. Get two cards. Oh, it only goes to the bench. Oh, that's a misplay. All right, I need. Okay, I need a. I needed some way to get energy. Boom. Oh. All right, survive that misplay. And there we go. Let's. Let's hit for 170, because otherwise we're going to get knocked out. There we go. Get rid of an energy. And bring up the Mimikyu. See if they got another boss. And we're making them at least use their bosses. And I, I do want to get the wheezing down here. But I got to get the coughing. Where's my coughing? All right, so we're gonna we're gonna have to keep doing this. <laughs> I mean, we 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 saved the switch on that one. Avery. Ooh. All right. Bye, Greninja. Yeah. Sorry. Got to save my barrel in case I get iono Which now leaves a spot. Two spots for wheezing. They got a gold dango. What's this one? Galarian Berserk. This tech does 20 damage for each card in your hand. Fair, because they want to try to get a giant hand. All right, now do I Iono? I think I, 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 I mean, they do get six and they have all the good dangos. That's seven, eight, nine, ten. They're just gonna, I don't think I'm gonna use it yet, the Iono. Definitely not gonna boss. Ugh, that means I only get one card. I mean, they're just going through their deck. Yeah, if I, I don't know, they're going to get 10 cards again anyway. And I think I just... Am I set up? How many energies? Energy. There's two energy in there. And they're going to retreat. Okay. And they're going to come up with a Kafra Gigas. If this Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an attack... Put five damage counters on your opponent's bench any way you like. Okay. So, if I'm able to switch, I'm going to boss that one up. Ooh, there's another boss. Let's let's just Iono. I, I got nothing. I, I kind of want to attack here. Or at least set up. Alright, we can Earthen Vessel the Bibberal for two... I've got to place one there. I can industrious incisors. There's my coughing. I don't need to do that. Do I want to switch an attack? Yeah, why not, right? Why not? Switch and get it ready again. That's two. So I'm going to try to get these two. I know my bosses are at the bottom. That much I know. I know my bosses are at the bottom. Although I did go through and get the vessel. So they might not be anymore. So who knows where they are. But I need another switch and a boss. And I need to get these two out. And that's game. How many switches have we played? One, two, and I know I played the escape rope. Avery. Um, okay, well, the coughing's gone. Huh? Well, I'll play another one. Let's try to get it. Uh, Avery's in a kind of annoying card for this deck when you're trying to load up your bench. All right, so we, we got to hit him for 90, meaning we got to do another hit and run attack. But we've got the energy. 
I would need, there's three energy in there. I can also get a retrieval. Countercatcher, okay. Well, we got one knocked out. The good thing is we, we save a switch. We're gonna come and knock out uh, this gold dango. Hopefully they stay with one of these. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Coin bonus. I'm hoping they stay with the one one that has damage on it. Pokey stop. Very good. Oh, they got two energy retrievals and an energy. There goes that. All right, so we are definitely getting knocked out, and this would be a great time for the Iono. Ooh. How are we going to do this? Let's see, I have three cards. I'm getting four, but Barrel will get me five. All right, so they only needed two. All right, I'm going to come up. All right, I get the knockout, though, without the boss. I do get the knockout. Okay, I don't want to energy retrieval yet because I want to industrious incisors. I got the vigor. Um, oh yeah, path to the peak. There it is. It's nothing I, oh, I can energy, I can vessel. Get one. All right, so there's one. Now I can get the retrieval later, after. And hit for 170. Yep. Get rid of this. Come up there. And do it again. I really need that boss. I'm trying to I was trying to find a boss. Alright, there's a coughing and a full face guard. Full face guard helps. If they can't knock me out totally. Uh so I got the coughing. Could we win this game on, on a wheezing? That'd be fantastic. All right, so they are going to hit 110. All right, that's good, because I want the boss. Oh, okay. Because if I get the boss, hollow hands blocked. But then they drop five damage counters, right? Yeah. So I need a boss and a switch and an energy. Boss, switch, energy. That's all I need. And I got two turns to get it. Because otherwise, my barrel is gone. Can we do it? Energy retrieval. Alright, let's... I got the energy. I need to switch it to boss. That does not help. Alright, we're going to put that there. It got stuck. There we go. We're going to put this... We're going to get two energy. There we go. And turn. They're going to do it again. And then this next turn, I basically... Ooh. I basically need it. So now I need a switch. No, I don't need a switch. Because I can attach the energy. I need the boss. That's all I need is the boss. Oh, they did it. Okay, because I can, I can switch. I need a boss. All I need is a boss. Come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. That's it. Boom. Boom. Come on up. Hit for another 170. And we got the win. Beating Gold Dango. Oh, I got a switch. Love getting the boss at the end. Oh, there was one of our switches. All right, Galarian Moltres. Okay, so we got our two. We got our two pods there. Let's attach for turn, and that's pretty much it, right? Yeah, we're not switching, obviously. Okay, so we got that. 
see them do their long turn. See if they're able to get it. All right, so we've got the two Galissapods down, and I can get another energy. Um, unless I get a Vigor and an energy, I'm stuck. We didn't get one Ultra Ball, Nest Ball, <laughs> or Battle VIP. Oh, we did get the Mimikyu, though. Roaring Moon. Let's see what we can get here right there. Energy. Ooh, they could put in they had to throw away an energy switch. Oh, there's Squawkability. I guess they were gonna throw it away anyway. Squawk. Alright, tire flame wings, and then squawk and seize. See what they get rid of. Nope, they're gonna do the vitality. Fair. And get hmm. Pokey Stop. So they got a squawk of Billy. They got an energy switch. Okay. Now they can't boss. They can use a scape rope. Scape rope would hurt. But they can't boss. Because they use the vitality. They're going to squawk a Billy? Forest Seal. Ooh. All right, they're, they're going to go in. I'm, I'm going to assume they're getting an escape rope. The good thing is, how many could they have? And they're using it on a 70 HP Pokemon. Earthen Vessel. I mean, I could be wrong. All right, so they got two energy. They did not use squawk a Billy yet. And Roaring Moon is ready to go. Uh, well, I guess they can... Hmm. I only do 20 damage. Uh, flip a coin. If heads during your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage and effects. Okay. Oh, I can do 70. Yeah, I can come up with a... If they knock me out here by gouging, I can actually come up with the Galissapod and knock it out. Yep, that's fine. I mean, that was a heck of a turn one. They've only got 26 cards left. All right, but we're, we're going to take the knockout. See if you can do it again without using all Squawkabilly and a Forest Seal Stone and all that fun stuff. I guess they weren't banking on that I would have an energy and a Galissapod. But I do. But I do. I mean, do I Pokey Stop? For an Ultra Ball or Nest Ball? I like my switches. But I gotta get rid of one. energy in my hand so I can do it later although yeah I need to because I need I need something to switch into I got two switches oh and a vigor okay well we'll just hit for 70 I cannot believe I still have not seen a, an ultra ball a battle VIP or a nest ball I have not seen one all right we got Iono all right so we can Iono we're gonna get four new cards I'm gonna put put my energy on here so I can do the attack for 170 and then I own I, I literally how much energy is in the discard none because I didn't switch yet oh and they pokey stopped the boss that's phenomenal I gotta get this wheezing going gotta get the wheezing going come on I need, I need a barrel first of all and that's gonna take two turns Okay, concealed cards. No, I don't have to switch. All right, Darkrai. Touch for turn. They can do 50. Whoop. Okay, nope, they, all right, cool. I got this. 
I got this. So we're gonna put that down and we are just going to Iono. We get we get four, they get five. Here we go. I need I need alright. Here we go. Well, I did ask for a barrel, but that's too soon. And then I'm gonna put these two down. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna pokey stop. I know I'm not supposed to. I have to. I need a nest ball. Sweet. Panther Peak. And okay. So I got my Bidoof. Here we go. And I have a barrel in my hand. This is awesome. So I'm gonna do 70. One, 170. But I am not. I don't want to. It, it should be a choice. All right, we'll put up a coughing. Discard an energy. I guess it's not a choice. Discard an energy. If you do, switch it with one of your bench Pokemon. It says if you do, but I don't want to. I don't know. What do you guys think about that one? Let me know in the comments. I... I to me, it says, if you do, that means I have a choice. But PTCGL is not giving me the choice. All right, they're going to Dark Patch. Really would have been cool if I had a Weezing up there right now. Um, how much energy do I have? One, two, three, four. Okay. I'm banking on getting an energy. If not... I only can hit this thing for 70. Or I would have to retreat. Whew. Okay. Or get a switch. A barrel. Alright. Got a barrel. I I'm going to put down the wind pod. And I'm going to hope I get at least an energy. At, wor at, at worst, an energy. Or, or something to get me energy. I have plenty of outs. There it is. Okay. So we are going to energy retrieval. Get these two. I had plenty of outs there. I could have gotten a vessel, the retrieval. All right, so there we go. And we are also going to conceal cards. This is the first turn I am not going to use Pokestop, so that's good. I don't need to boss, so I'm going to Vigor. Get the Weezing. And we're going to put this on this one. And I got the Weezing to, tur to get into. That is awesome. All right, 170 for this Darkrai V. And then we're going into the Weezing. Boom. Okay. Now I need, I think both Vigors are gone. Okay. So I'm actually going to have to hit for 70. Otherwise, I'm going to forego a turn. The dang pokey stop. All right. Although I only need three, right? So I could boss up this dark cry if it leaves. Because uh, I have a switch. I could boss it up, take two, and then all I need is one card. And I can get this Mew out of there. So either or, if they come up with the Mew, I knock it out. And then next turn, I switch boss. So if this Pokemon is in the active spot and is knocked out by damage and they're not going to back up a damage from attack, flip a coin if heads. Okay. So it would have to be by damage. Now, do I take? I think I, I, I take the two prize cards, right? I switch boss and take the two prize cards. There's. Oh, I can't. I don't have an energy. I don't have an energy. And I, if I switch and I don't get an energy or something. All right, here we go. I cannot believe how many times I'm using Pokestop. I need an energy retrieval. Oh my God. That was not good. See, that's why you don't use it. All three Vigors are gone. That's why you don't use it. Should have just passed. I have a good setup. 
I was scared of this roaring moon taking me out here. Because it, the, against the wheezing, it doesn't work. But I can take two prize cards by coming up. That much they know. I should have just held it. I've used the Poke Stop, what, three, four times? It's not in my deck. I'm not using it this time. Battle VIP. Nope. Not doing it. Not doing it again. How much energy do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, so there's still five energy in there. I have I have what I need here. I have a switch, but I'm gonna save the boss. I'm gonna take this one card and save it. Honestly, I really should because I lost all the vigors. Because if this gets knocked out, this is gonna the the other Galisopod's gonna take me two turns so even if i get an energy i actually should put it on this one so then i can always come back and do the knockout all right we're gonna we're both in top deck mode they only have four cards left and i keep getting battle vips okay fantastic i got two in a row they got their super rod all right so they're going up both in top deck mode here Switch cart. Okay. Now, if they do it again... Oh, they're going to boss. Oh. Now I really need an energy. Okay. I'm, I'm going to take the chance with the with the Poke stuff. I'm going to have to. Because then I can take these two prize cards. Here we go. A switch. I need an energy retrieval or a vessel. I don't even know how many are in the deck. We got a retrieval. Okay. Got a retrieval. I got a more... There we go. I can do that. I can... Concealed cards. See what we get. A boss. Do I want to boss anything up? No. <laughs> Hit it for 70. Take two cards. Now the question is, if their Roaring Moon can do it, can they get two energy on their Roaring Moon? I, I'm, I'm going to think they might be able to. All right, there's another energy retrieval. So I can, I have the win. Because I have the retrieval that gets me an energy, and I have the boss. They would need Dark Patches. How many Dark Patches they got left? None. They would need a Vitality. There's a Vitality, and they would need another energy in hand. Do they have it? They do. Do they have the switch? They do. That is such garbage. Dang, Roaring Moon. All right, going against Roaring Moon. Ooh. All right, so let's get our Bidoof. Let's go get our wind pod. Ooh, I got three in the deck. You know what? Let's get Greninja and see if maybe we can get. So I need a water energy to attach. I got a coughing and a Mimikyu. All right, so let's put the Mimikyu. Might as well. Let's, let's do this. We will retreat into the Mimikyu. Now I can retrieval. Get these two back. Might as well. So they're back in our hand. Um, earthen Vessel. A Coughing. I only need one. Don't need two. Get one of each. Now, unfortunately, um, I need to get down a, a Wimpod. So I'm going to... There you go. And then... I'm going to play Pass to the Peak. So they can't Squawker Billy. Yep. 
stopping them from Squawkabilly, hopefully limiting their turn to these five cards. So if they don't have a stadium bump in these other four cards, they're going to pass back and we can maybe get a ba barrel. But barrels where I really want. I know our Radiant Grenade is shut down, but so is theirs. But And so is their Mew. So looks like they don't have a stadium bump. So that Ixnade their squawk. And okay. All right. This isn't bad. Oh, that is really good. All right. We are going to place this down. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to draw three and hopefully one is, hopefully one is a grass. I got my grass. Okay. So I got this. I can let go of path to the peak. I can get, let's see, I got a grass and a, it can place two grass. So we'll do this. We can use the vigor, put down the two grass. Oh, and I got a wheezing. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to use the wheezing and then I'm going to ultra ball for the Galissapod. And then unfortunately I have used everything I have and I cannot get into the active, which stinks because I could actually get it, uh, knock out the Squawkabilly with the 170. Now they are shut down and they concede. There's redemption against Roaring Moon. No, I'm glad we got to get some vengeance on Roaring Moon. Tough second game. Got him back in the last one. Let me know what you think of the deck. Watch one of these two videos and I'll see you tomorrow.